welcome to Ruby Hollow, my 1.28 Let's Play world. I've just been moving all my stuff into here, my brand new storage room, which I'm so excited to start using. We've got a few little tasks to start off with today. First of all, I seem to have lost something. I am not wearing a chest plate, and after moving all my stuff into here, I still don't know where it is. Luckily, we should be able to just buy a new one off our villager. Um, is that the armorer? Dude, how did you end up in the lake in a boat? Each to their own, I guess, but do you sell a oh, blast protection? Or we could go with Ginny. Oh, this is better. Oh, but it's 15 emeralds. Okay. Okay, lovely. And with our armor sorted, we're also running low on food, so let's sort that out. We'll get some wheat, feed our cows, and then exterminate the cows. And then after this, we need to name our axolotl that lives at our scally farm. That is a task I've been meaning to do for a while. <gasps> I got a cow head! That's our first one! <laughs> These must be quite rare, I'm not sure what to do with this. Maybe some extra decor for our new storage room. We do have a sheep head. I guess they can be friends. Is that kind of morbid? Nah, it's fine. As for our axolotl, I think we will go with a cute yellow themed name, Buttercup. I know a lot of you guys suggested Sunny as well, which I think is adorable, but we just named our Moobloom that in Castaways. So Buttercup it is. There you go, cutie. The last little admin task I would like to do this morning is check on the mysterious book. We don't know who is writing in this book over here, but we'll see if it has anything to say today. Let's see. Oh, okay, it says, I'll be honest, I was hoping that if you built a thriving town, maybe some of my kind would come. So far, no luck. Wait, some of my kind, but we don't know who the author is. What does that mean? Are they a species of some sort and there's others? Or maybe there's no others. But if you would like more rare traveler professions in Ruby Hollow, perhaps a greenhouse of flowers would entice some florists. Ooh, a greenhouse with some flowers for a florist. Okay, that sounds adorable. I definitely want to build that. I've never seen a florist before. I guess it could be kind of rare, like our occultist in here. Let's start thinking about this though. I feel like we could build a greenhouse maybe up these stairs. We've got this kind of space of land here and then it could connect to this building over here. So we just need to like clear a few of these trees. Okay, so we've got a bit of space, but to build a greenhouse, we're going to need a lot of glass, which means a lot of sand. And we live in the mountains, so we are chronically out of sand. We're nowhere near it. The past few episodes, I've been scrounging little bits of it from nearby beaches, but I'm kind of fed up with that. So we're off to the desert. We're going to hopefully get so much sand that we don't need to worry about sand for a while. Then I got distracted as usual, but I promise it is relevant to the project. I found this giant dripstone cave and decided to light a bunch of it up. In order to smelt our sand into glass for the greenhouse, we're gonna need a lot of coal. So I explored the cave, killed some baddies, and got a bunch of coal. And that brings us here to our lush desert. Look at the amount of azalea trees. It's kind of insane. But let's get to it and collect as much sand as we can. We have returned with all of the sand and the coal, so we can smelt it all up. And while that's all smelting, I think I'm going to go get the rest of the stuff. We do need some white dye. I think what I want to have for the greenhouse is clear glass walls with white glass roof. Just as something a little bit different. So first we will get the bones for the white dye. And then we will make sure that we have enough cherry wood for the trim. I may have made a little bit of a mistake over here. So I was using water buckets to clear the area and the water went all the way down here onto my lovely concrete path and it turned it into concrete. It was meant to look like this and now it's all ugly. So we will have to fix that but I want to get started on the build. I've not done any planning for this outside my own head so we'll see how this goes but I was thinking of doing it all pink which might be kind of a lot but it might be kind of cute. Actually maybe we bring it out one. So we have glass and then these and we just kind of go along doing this until we can parkour. I think this will be long enough. Then we want, ah, it's raining. Um, okay, we'll do an entrance area here and then just kind of mirror everything on this side. 
Next we'll make it a little bit taller and add some kind of rounding shapes. I'm not sure if we want this middle bit here or if it's a lot of repetition. Maybe it'd be better without. Oh, I'm not actually sure. This could even be another entrance. Or we could have kind of a garden bed and some bushes in front. If we had these sitting in some kind of pot situation. And then a couple of vines or glowberries. Well, we'll leave it like that for now while we start working on the roof. I'm not sure what shape I want this to be. We'll just give it a go. Okay, we're definitely getting there with the build. We need a little bit more decoration though. I've also been trying to figure out this entrance, but I don't think this spruce wood is quite right. I do like it for the side here, and we've got a little bit over here as well, just to make everything a little bit less pink. And the inside is looking nice and big as well, but first let's finish the outside. I was thinking maybe here this could be terracotta. The only half decent color we have at the moment is red, and we might have to go get some more. In fact, I think we definitely will need some more clay. Oh, I like that though, that's kind of cute. Do we do the same down here or should this be spruce? What do we think? I think they need to be two different blocks. Okay, I take it back, that can be spruce and this terracotta. Another thing I'd like to decorate with is some big pots and I've got these shirts. Uh, wait, should this go? Yes, on the front. And to stick with the greenhouse theme, these shirts have little trees on them. Then maybe we go dead bush and this. Or maybe the green. We'll also have some bamboo in here. Then I think it'd also be nice to decorate with some giant flowers around it, kind of like we did over here. Like these. So we'll definitely need to go get some more clay. We'll go down here. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute from down here. I love it. I do want to add a bit of moss so we definitely should have done this before the path but oh well. And then we can move on to the inside but I think we're going to need to go on a little bit of an adventure. So for this florist's greenhouse I would like one of every single small flower which I think there's 13 of them. So not sure what the layout will be yet let's just pop these down here for now. 13 pots for 13 flowers. A good place to start collecting these is probably our local flower forest, which is just over the mountain. Let's try to be kind of methodical. I don't really know how, but we'll start with all the tulips. So we have red, orange, white, and pink. Then we can try to find the other kind of white flowers. We have this one. The Lily of the Valley, and the last white one is an Oxide Daisy. Are there any around? Oh, maybe there isn't. We might have to look elsewhere for that one. What we do have is the Allium and the Poppy, the Dandelion. Oh, I spotted the Oxide Daisy down here. There's only two of them. Oh, here we go. I found all of the Oxide Daisies. Now we just need three more flowers, all found through different biomes or different methods. There's blue orchids from the swamp, but cornflowers, which I think are in a lot of biomes. And the torch flower, of course, from sniffers. So we can start by going to see our sniffers. Mm, that guy, wait, two of them are dying in a wall, including the captain. This makes my job a lot easier. Goodbye, villagers. But let's go see our sniffers in here. Hello, cuties. Are you guys doing well? Anybody got any seeds? It seems they don't, but there's a torch flower here. In the little growing area. I'll take this too. Oh, and our neighbouring village live in a flower forest. And I think I see... Yes, that's a cornflower. Yeah, yeah, now we just need the one from the swamp. It's kind of far away, but I think I know where it is. Oh, I see them. They're over there on that hill. Our final flower. And we're back, and with all the flowers, now we can do the interior. Although I also just remembered these signs exist. So we have a cute florist greenhouse sign, and we have all the flowers. This arrangement with them on the floor is temporary, but they already look adorable. Starting on the interior here though, I think a really good centerpiece would be a tree. I don't know if we'll have to make a custom one or if we'll be able to grow a good one. 
Oh, maybe if we just trim the edges a little bit, it'll be perfect. Then we'll make some paths going around the tree. Okay, so we have this cute little cherry blossom floor. Then for all the flowers along the edges, let's make some shelves. Then we'll just add some final finishing touches. And I think that our flower greenhouse is done. It's looking so pretty. So now all we have to do really is wait and see if a traveling florist shows up. I hope they do. We made it as cute as we possibly could. Okay, I've been doing a little bit more enchanting to pass the time. Unfortunately, we broke our anvil, but let's go see if anybody's moved in. <gasps> Wait, are you oh, a nitwit? I mean, I'm sorry, that's not polite. Hello? Can I come in? Oh my gosh, there's two of you. You must be the florist. Your outfit is so cute. What can we get from you? Ooh, flowers. Well, we won't have to go flower hunting again. And now you're selling, oh my gosh, leaves. Interesting. I will buy some dark oak. And you buy, oh, jungle saplings and oh, cherry saplings. Wait, that's a really good one. And finally, rooted dirt and podzel. I don't have any of those. I think that's enough trading for now. And I guess that does round off our greenhouse project too. So leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.